Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, so today it's time to put some sealer on this guitar body. You've probably seen this in a few recent videos. We tested a bunch of products. We did some uh, green filling with Bellin's Poro Pack filler, which worked out really well. We did some green accenting with their Solar Lux dye, also worked out really well. We used Crimson Stunning Stains Orange to get this effect on the top. And then we used Bellin's uh, Aniline Dye, American Walnut, to get this beautiful look on the mahogany on the back. So now it's time, like I said, to, to seal this up and get it ready for top coating. Uh, what I'm going to be using for this is the Qualilac, I really hope I, I'm saying that right, Qualilac Sanding Sealer from Bellin. So this is one that comes in a quart. It's designed to have the Qualilac lacquer go on top of it. Uh, and it's a sanding sealer, so it's going to go on, you know, reasonably heavy. It's going to be sandable, and uh, I assume that it's going to dry fairly quickly. So what can I tell you about this product so far? Well, I've never used it, so we're about to test it out. But it says on here that it's manufactured at spray viscosity, so that's kind of exciting. I don't really love having to thin things. should be convenient. There is a thinner available for it if you need it, but... Apparently you shouldn't need it. Let's see, is there something stuck to the bottom? Yeah, so this needs to be stirred up a bit. So what I'm gonna do is kind of stir this up, get all that, uh, all those solids in the bottom dissolved in there, and then pour this right as it is into my gun, and then I'm gonna spray it. So you guys get to watch that last part, the exciting part. I'm gonna just sit this on, on a couple paint lids like you see here, a couple um, spray can lids uh, to keep it from sticking to the paper. And we'll get that sprayed up and, and see how one decent coat of it looks. So as I said, this is being sprayed unreduced straight out of the gun here. And you can see it's flowing out real nice. I'm not having any problems with it. I'm using a 1.5 millimeter nozzle here. That's kind of what I like to use for uh, sealers because I like to spray them a little heavier thicker than your average uh, paint but I mean this stuff would easily flow through a 1.3 or even a 1.2 I can't imagine there being any difficulty there so I've got the fan adjusted pretty wide and this is this is atomizing nicely it's going on real quick and uh, there's really not much else to tell here this stuff sprays beautifully right out of the container and if you want it to go on thinner you can reduce it but I don't feel that that's necessary at all all right, guys, so here we go. We've got one coat of sanding sealer on here. Uh, you can probably see it's already sealed up nicely. It's pretty shiny. Give you a look at it. The, the edges look nice and sealed. They're ready for sanding. And the face of it also. So pretty happy with that. That built up very quickly. Um, that's only one coat. It was a pretty thin coat. It's a thin product. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So it's ready to go, ready to sand at this point. I haven't done the back. Um, what did happen though, I was spraying kind of downward and I had it sitting on these caps. And obviously some got on the back because if you catch it at the right angle, yeah, there you go. You can't see it straight on, but if you catch it at the right angle, you can see where some sealer is built up around where the caps were. Anyway, that now logically, this has only been 10, 15 minutes since I sprayed it. Uh, it's already dry to the touch. I could probably start sanding it if I wanted to. Damn, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Um, this body was a piece of junk anyway, but could probably start sanding that if I wanted to, or I would wait another hour or so, flip it over and do the back. So those are kind of um, the options at this point. If you were doing this for real, I'd say start with the back so that you can then flip it over and spray the front. And if you get any marks, like this, you can deal with those on the back where it's a little less important. So all in all, pretty happy with that. The Qualilac sanding sealer is pretty good stuff, obviously, you can tell. Uh, and you would go over it with the Qualilac lacquer, generally. I'm just gonna keep playing around here. Uh, in the next video, I'll probably sand this back and go over it with some stringed instrument lacquer and, and see how that turns out. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video and that if you're thinking of uh, picking up some sanding sealer that you'll look into this one because it's pretty awesome. I'll put a link in the description so that you can check it out on Amazon or whatever if you're interested in it. And uh, yeah, 
If you have any questions, as always, drop me a line in the comments and I'll try and get to them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.